If you're out wandering the wilds of Enoch, just remember, Strix are the real enemy. Alright, this video got a little bit longer than I wanted, but, uh... We encountered a bug, we found a workaround for it. Uh, I looked it up and I know people are encountering the same thing. I don't know if they found the fixes, but no one's made a video that I can find about how to fix it. And it's pretty simple. All right, guys, I am Jack Nov, and today I am gonna uh, talk about a real quick hidden side quest that is on the Canyon of the Grand Obelisk. If you're talking to Chana, sorry for any spoilers that may come out from this. Um, you'll see that right here it'll say you've got a forgotten chapel quest. The hidden quest, you basically have to activate, activate five pillars around the map to activate the quest and start it. And you get a legendary reward from it. So I'm going to show you where those pillars are and we're going to do the quest. Check it out. If you guys are curious about my build, I'll show you here at the end of this. So stick around and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to be playing Outriders for a while, so be sure to follow. Turn on the bell for notifications. All right, for the first pillar, uh, we're here in the camp where you load in. And the pillar is going to be up in this area right here. So you're just going to go out of the camp and take the first left. Keep following until you find the pillar and activate it. Right there. I've already activated this one. Right here where you find the first one, you basically want to come right through here and up the stairs and it's back up in here. It, it, doesn't really look like the map, but that's where it's at. Here's the next one. So the next one is a pillar right here in the corner of Ruined Altar that opens this door. Um, right here in Canyon Overlook now at the fast travel point. We're just gonna come up here, go through that entrance, come through Ruined Altar, fight through the stuff. Come to that corner, open it up and right in there. already hit this one as well. It's right there and it opens this door. All right, guys. Now the fourth one is right here next to this door on Monolith Bridge. Uh, I'm just going to take you from the third one right here. We're going to go down cliffside path over this way and directly up.
Pillar's gonna be right there. I already hit this one earlier. And the last one is gonna be straight through the door down here on the other side right there. You can see it standing up. This is the room that that one thing happened that I'm not gonna spoil that was really sad. And if you did it in that correct order, it should say that the Forgotten Chapel quest has started. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go back and check that first one because that pillar was still standing. So I don't know. So if everything is working correctly, right here at this fast travel point, at the wrecked ACP, we're gonna go up to the cliffside path there should be a door to open. I think mine may be bugged though. I can't drop the first pillar. I'm gonna go do some more investigation and see if that is indeed the case or if there's a certain order it has to be done in. So one, two, it's not done in the right order. So let me go check. Cause there should be a light on the top as well. So it's one, two, three. And then you hit that pillar and it opens the door. Uh, I'm gonna go do some investigation and see if I can backtrack, do the pillars backwards or see which ones popped up. It may be an order you have to do it in. So I left and I came back. Let's see if that fixed this obelisk not dropping. I don't know why. There we go, it's lit up now. I should be able to drop it. So that is a fix. If the obelisk is invisible, there's one. Why didn't it start? Let's go take a look. I left and came back. It reset that pillar, but I think it also reset the environment. So we're going to go check all six of the pillars again. There's two. As you can see, this new build I'm running is like recklessly invincible. And it looks like pillar number three is going to be down. Once we kill, we're gonna be able to be put down after we kill all these guys. Color number three is up and ready to be pushed down. Alright, now we're ready to uh, drop. curious the reward I snagged from that was a golem lid shotgun it's got armor pierce beach life and close range along with golem rising which is a killing shot grants you a protective golem effect for three seconds um, this is probably gonna be very good for my golem build I might run it and it dropped with bone shrapnel on it I think that's the standard perk now what I'm running for my armor just so you can see my tears it's the same I was running a uh, previous video, which will be right here. Um, the only thing I've added is I tried to find pants that had Bone Crusher on it. Uh, I'm running these Statue's Feet Golem Boots. The Made of Marble perk really helps. 
and I've started running uh, Emergency Stance. So Emergency Stance is really good because it gives you Golem when you're below 30%. It just gives you more invincibility towards this class. And you can, when that Golem activates after 30 seconds, you can keep reactivating it with the perks that we have on our skill tree. Run an Endless Mass, Golem, and Gravity Leap. Um, endless Mass, I've been running just to gather people. I'm running Gravity Leap as like an oh shit button. Plus uh, these two kinetic skills really tie in well with this Altered Charge. Uh, perk gives you an extra 70% damage for 10 seconds. So I'll do like, uh, give him Bleed with Endless Mass and then hit him with Gravity Leap. And then just switch my close range gun and pump out a bunch of damage. But I altered the front end of the tree. So now I'm taking the Colossus tank, Colossus, and then into the fray and working my way up that way. Um, we still do pass by Shotgun Master. So if you need to dip off and get Shotgun Master, unfortunately with this build, you're not going to get Shotgun Adept. So if you do need Shotgun Adept, you're going to have to drop these three and go back. Unless you want to get rid of Assault. Well, you can lose Assault Master. I'll give you Shotgun Adept or Shotgun Master. But you don't want to lose anything else. I don't think you want to lose that. Um, I've also been running Weapon Leech on all of my gear. 